Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x this is equal to 36. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now in the numerator here we have that 6 to the power of x is common here. So we can factor out 6 to the power of x so that we have 6 to the power of x into the parentheses. This is the same thing as 6 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x. This is 1 plus 1 plus 1 cross the parentheses divided by 2 to the power of x is common here. So we can also factor out 2 to the power of x into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 1 cross the parentheses, this is equal to 36. So therefore we have 6 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1 plus 1, this is 3, divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1 which is 2, then this is equal to 36. Now the next step you can multiply both signs by 2 over 3. Also here we can multiply with 2 over 3, so that 2 and 2 here simplifies, 3 and 3 here simplifies, so that now we have 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x. This is equal to, now, 36 divided by 3, this is equal to 12. 12 times 2, this is equal to 24. The next step is that 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. Now, applying this exponent property, then we have 6 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 24. So that now, 6 divided by 2, this is 3. So this implies we have 3 to the power of x, this is equal to 24. Now, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have log 3 to the power of x, this is equal to log 24. Remember that log 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n log log a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then we have log 3 to the power of x. This becomes x log 3. This is equal to log 24. Now let's divide both signs by log 3. Also here we have log 3. Now we have that log 3 and log 3 simplifies. So that now x is equal to log 24 divided by log 3. We can express 24. This is the same thing as 8 multiplied by 3. And therefore, we can substitute this so that x is equal to log. This is 8 multiplied by 3 divided by log 3. Rock 8 times 3, this is in the form of rock A multiplied by B, which can be expressed as rock A plus rock B. Now let's apply this logarithm property so that now we have x is equal to, this is rock 8 divided by rock 3, then plus rock 3 divided by rock 3. Now we can simplify rock 3 and rock 3 here, so this is 1. So we have x is equal to 1 plus rock 8 divided by rock 3. Now we can express 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Now this implies that x here is equal to 1 plus, now this is rock 2 to the power of 3 divided by rock 3. Now, 
applying the power rule property here, then we have x is equal to 1 plus, now rog 2 to the power of 3 becomes 3, rog 2, divided by rog 3. Now we have that rog 2 over rog 3, this is in the form of rog a, divided by rog b, which we can express as rog a to base b. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have that the value of x here is equal to 1 plus 3. This is rog 2 to base 3. So the value of x is equal to 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 3. Now, the next step from here is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, in the numerator here, 6 to the power of x is common here, so we can factor out 6 to the power of x, so that here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, cross the parentheses, divided by, in the denominator 2 to the power of x is common, so we have 2 to the power of x, into the parentheses, this is 1 plus 1, this is equal to 36, this is supposed to give us a value of 36. So we have 6 to the power of x, multiplying by 3, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, then divided by 2 to the power of x, multiplying by 2, this is equal to 36. Now, let's multiply both signs by 2 over 3, and here by 2 over 3. So 2 and 2 simplifies, and 3 as well as, as well as 3, so that we have 6 to the power of x, divided by 2 to the power of x, this is supposed to give us a value of 36 divided by 3, this is 12, 12 times 2, this is equal to 24. And remember this, 6 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x, this can be expressed as 6 over 2, raised to the power of x, this should give us a value of 24. Now, 6 over 2, this is 3, so this implies 3 to the power of x, this is supposed to give us a value of 24. Now, let's substitute the value of x here. And the value of x is, that is 1 plus 3. This is rog 2 to base 3. And this is supposed to give us a value of 24. Now, since 3 is a power, we can express this as 3 to the power of 1 plus, this is rog. 2 to the power of 3 to base 3, this should give us a value of 24. The next step is that 3 to the power of 1 plus rog 2 to the power of 3 to base 3, this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 1, times 3 to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 24. The next step is that 3 to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a. This is supposed to give us a value of b. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 3 to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. So let's substitute 8 back to the equation here. So we have 3 times 8. This should give us a value of 24. So we have 3 times 8. This is 24, which is equal to 24. So the left 
add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the value of x here which is equal to 1 plus 3 rock 2 to base 3 actually satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now